Here we are, West Wildwood, New Jersey. What are we doing in New Jersey? This is, I haven't been to this part of the world in about five years. Uh, this is a happy spot for me. I like coming here. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> they built this handicap ramp. And, and, you know, you always hear me talk about how the, the, they don't make it inclusive for people in wheelchairs. There has to be a... I mean, this is the longest ramp <laughs> to go the shortest distance in the history of mankind. I guess because of this wall. It has to be a retaining wall. All right, I get it. All right. All right. So anyway, going for a walk. And today... I'm going to walk around West Wildwood, New Jersey. When, you, when I think about West Wildwood, New Jersey, I think about the speed limit. The speed limit's 25 miles an hour. It tells you when you go in, you go over the hill, you go down, and uh, it says 25 miles an hour. Don't go over 25 miles an hour. It's a tiny township in New Jersey, and uh, they'll get you. They'll get you. And I've never been got, but I just know they're always there. Not now. Um, it's it's I'm in the, it's the March twenty second, so it's not as uh, you know. I don't think the police are out to get the tourists to make money this time of year. But this is pretty cool. It's low tide. Another cool thing about West Wildwood, it floods every day. Every day, <laughs> the township floods. Not drastically, just like a half an inch or so. I won't be able to document that today because of the um, uh, it being low tide. Uh, seaweed, look at this. Seaweed. Right, that's Japanese. Well, I mean, anybody eats sushi, but they, the Japanese with the sushi, they they get the the seaweed. I want to know who the first guy who saw that and said, you know, I'm gonna dry that out and eat it. I like seaweed. So I don't know why I'm trashing it as a food. Um, so these are houses here. This is a wall to protect floods. Uh, hurricanes, they, they come the, these way, this way once in a while. My aunt and uncle have a house in this little section. That's why I, uh, whenever I go down the shore, I, I stay at their house for a few days. Um, but I, I'll tell you, when you hear something crazy, I have such crazy anxiety. Um, I can't, I can't really enjoy the, uh, the vacation because the entire time we're there I'm just worried that we're going to break something uh, in my aunt's house oh ain't this neat during the um the summertime you can go swimming here sometimes the flies are a pain in the ass they got the flies that bite look at this this is an old brick it's got written writing on it um So you can go swimming here, like it, 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 sometimes, and like there's no real regulations. You can just come here and do whatever you want. Uh, there's no lifeguard. There's no. Um, so it's like a good way to get out. The kids come around. They look for shells and hermit crabs. I do are hermit crabs here. Hermit crabs are on the other beach. It's a horrible time to well, act. Oh, look at this. It's an old tile. This is called rip wrap. These rocks. What they do is they throw these rocks up here. That way, if there's like a flood, um, or if there's a, I don't know, they, like a, a big piece of like a barge comes. The um, like if a barge gets out of control and floats down here, the rip wrap is supposed to stop the boat. From crashing into like these towers here. Let's go back. 
not really the best place to go <laughs> go for a walk is on a pile of rocks. Uh, I've, I've been down here for about two hours. I've been trying to get something to eat. And uh, nothing's open. Even uh, there's a sandwich shop down here called Bill's. They have a pretty decent cheesesteak. Not the best cheesesteak, but a good cheesesteak for the Jersey Shore. There's an old brick. Look at this thing. All right, we're back at it. The ha the least <laughs> the least convenient handicap ramp. Handicap ramp. I guess it's all about the angle going up and going down. But the, by the way, where are you going? Where's the guy in the wheelchair going once he gets down to the sand? He's done, right? He's stuck. See, I don't know. All right, so I'm 46 years old. And there's still like a part of me that like I don't feel like walking all this. So I'm going to climb this, right? Am I going to do it, though? I don't know. But, like... Nah, we're going to just do it. See, that's how you know you're getting old. Although, it's a bit, that's a bit of a hike to get... Ah, fuck it. How exciting is this? Yama, he's climbing! Probably saved me about 25 seconds. So, the houses in this area are uh, getting bigger over time. What's this? Mayor Edwin Lusk Memorial Park. That's a little park, that beach. Yeah, and they're developing this area real big. Um, you can... Uh, Okay, there's a good house. You see that little tiny house? Back in the day, I would say the majority of the houses were little tiny fellows. One, like ranchers. My aunt and uncle lived here for about, oh, I don't know, 30, 40 years? I'm not, I'm not even sure. And they had a house like that, and they, it was falling apart, so they tore it down. And they built something like that, a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. Look, there's the uh, dock, all the barnacle. I have a nice little playground. It's a good spot, man. Like, nobody comes here. They're, they'll have some kids playing on the playground. But I remember uh, taking my kids here in the winter, in the summertime. My aunt and uncle would have bikes in their, uh, in their garage, and the kids would go bike riding. And it's pretty safe. It's so safe. Like, I didn't even really pay attention to where they went. I think they came back, so... Yeah, you go fishing over here, you go crabbing. Um, yeah, matter of fact, yeah, we used to go crabbing over that park right there. And this is just like the end. There's a whole little town. I guess I'll walk a block or two. Since it's not, <laughs> since it's not flooded. You have to plan your day. Well, you don't really have to plan your day. You have to check the tides. So, like, if you want to do something, like, if you want to go riding the bikes in the, in the area, you got to check the tides. Because if it's high tide, sometimes the water gets out of the, it just backs up into the streets. It's, but this, I would say this is low tide. It's not too shabby. Everybody, look, everybody that lives on here, they all have docks. They all have their boats. There's a place down the street where everybody parks their boat for the uh, the winter. I mean, I, I think it's a law that you have to have a boat. There's a yeah, they wrap them up. My aunt and uncle don't have a boat, but they have a, a pool table. So that's cool. I already had to pull that out. It's been so long. See, see how that little tiny house, the 752? 
I'm telling you, that's what, <laughs> 20 years ago, that's what it all was. And then they all just started blowing up. Just building up, getting big. Hello, friend. That's a big ass dog. I hope you're on a leash. Holy shit. It's a, it's a, it's a Marmaduke. So, like, the people who own these homes, not all of them, but some of them, like, you see these guys, they have the uh, the bricks on the, the front door. So, that's kind of a way to keep track of if anybody's been in and out of the house. Um, and, like, this house here has the piece of wood in the door. And that's just to keep uh, squatters. They'll come down here and they'll find a house... Um, where like nobody's staying and they'll move in and they'll just live there for the winter and then you'll uh, you'll come home <laughs> you'll come to your house and you'll have like a, a four hundred dollar electric bill You're like well i wasn't even here all the winter there you go that's what my aunt and uncle's house used to be that's nice man but it's about i don't know three thirty on the wednesday afternoon Besides the sounds of construction and the uh, annoying YouTuber talking to himself, I don't uh, don't really hear much. And they have a plague around here. That's I think that's the police station. Matter of fact, it is the police station. There's the cop cars. Look at this little church, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Damn it, Janet. Hey, does that look like the Rocky Horror Picture Show Church? Oh, look, on the bell it says, In God We Trust. And we just learned recently, one of my uh, videos I made in the uh, suburbs, this is the West, Wild Bi West Wildwood Bible Church. Uh, <laughs> they have a sign talking about its 86th anniversary which means it would be its we're getting close to the 100 year anniversary of this church and uh, this is the bell and it says in God we trust and uh, there is a church in Pottstown, Pennsylvania where uh, a guy, a minister he wrote a letter to the treasurer of the United States and he said uh, yo, it would be awesome if we had, like, God, law, and liberty on, uh, on our money. Oh, yeah, check out this basketball court. And, uh, um, this is right before we were getting into the, uh, Civil War. And, uh, do they have the tides? I think usually they have... No. They usually have like a tide timer on here. Um, oh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, so yeah, he wrote the so he wrote to the treasurer. He was like, "Yo, why don't we uh, um, put God on our money?" And then when we start, you know, when the Civil War starts, at least we could say, "Well, look, God's on our side because He's on our money." Because the Confederates they didn't have God on their money; we did. And that's how we got in God we trust. It was only supposed to be on one coin, and then we just put it on all our money. And uh, now that the, uh, you know, the Civil War is over, um, we still have the God stuff on our money. Here's a house for you. This is Glenwood Ave. 649 Glenwood Ave. This is for sale. If somebody wants to tell me in the comments how much this house is going for. That's called the Sand Castle. They named it. Man, that's nice. Oh, I'm going to say... I'm going to guess $900,000. $900,000. What do you think? Somebody wants to do the Google it. Well, 
But listen, if you're waiting this far in the video, do me a favor. Uh, why not hit the subscribe button? Uh, sounds like, you know, if you made it this far, you're either a big fan of West Wildwood, which can't be many of you, or you enjoy watching a lunatic talk to himself, walking through small towns of America. Because I think that's what this channel is getting ready to become. Well, it's getting ready to become a fantastic baseball channel, too. I'm going to be doing a lot of baseball vlogs. But then, when the Phillies are away, I'm going to go start doing traveling stuff. Um, I might even uh, stay in the car for a night overnight. And so, uh, why not hit subscribe? That's something they do in Jersey. They paint the curbs. You see how the curbs are like... I can't really tell. They need to touch these things up. Like, you're not supposed to park on the corners, so they'll paint the corner yellow. And you see how, like, it's kind of... Like, you can't park here. I don't know if you can park. It looks like there's some color on there. I don't know. So I, I make sure whenever I park, I park, like, there can't be any paint in the middle of a block, nowhere near a corner. Just over... Over worrying. That's something they're doing in Philly, in the houses. They're building roof decks. Um, you know what they're doing in London? They're doing this thing where you can, uh, you can't build up, but people are digging underground. Like they're just building, uh, like they're going 10 stories underground, building super big basements. Let's see. I could, I, could, I could probably think living here. They have a supermarket right down the street. They have... Uh, it's an Acme, which Acme kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And then you go... Uh, they got a Dollar General nearby. There's two or three liquor stores, plus the liquor store we just walked past, so you can get all liquored up. Um, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, it's fire. Uh, if you want to help me out, listen, I'm going to be doing a lot of road trips, and, uh, depending on how much gas money I get with Patreon and t-shirt sales, depends on how far I go. I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know how far I, yeah, so, if you want to help me out, seriously, if you want to sign up for Patreon, you go anywhere from a dollar to ten dollars, and it all helps. Uh, you want to click the join button, it's a dollar ninety nine on YouTube. You get access to all my live streams. I don't let the live streams linger too long, I take them down. And uh, I got t shirts, I get you get it right, it, it does help. I, I know there's other YouTubers that beg and grovel for stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm just another one of those guys. All right, well. This is a proud Coast Guard community member. Did you know that? They were a Coast Guard community member. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. See? It's a proud member of the Coast Guard community. Toodles!